welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i discuss one of the important theorem it's called the fundamental theorem of a linear programming problem one of the important theorem of linear programming problem this is very very important what is the statement of fundamental theorem set of all set of all feasible solutions feasible solutions of a linear programming problem of a linear programming problem constitutes a convex set which means if we consider any number of feasible solutions of a linear programming problem it constitute convex set which are in the convex set so that is the meaning of this particular theorem if you consider any number of feasible solutions which constitute in the convex set which are in the convex set which forms a con convex set hope hope you understand right so now i'm going to Uh, prove this theorem. Proof of the theorem. Uh, if you prove that, if you want to prove the theorem, what you have to consider? First of all, I consider the uh, the matrix form of the linear programming problem. In general, what is the matrix form of the linear programming problem? I consider here. So, the what is the matrix form? If you consider. if not let us consider matrix form at the maximize z is equal to z is equal to n to b maximize z is equal to cx subject to the constraints subject to the constraints to the constraints subject to the constraints i write here subject to the constraints ax is equal to b and non negative restrictions i write directly x greater than or equal to 0 so if we consider this matrix form this is the matrix form of a linear programming problem of a general linear programming problem matrix form of a lpp linear programming problem that's what we have considered in the very first step of the uh, proof of the theorem maximize z is equal to c into x these two are matrices z is a value subject to the constraints that is the constraints ax is equal to b and x greater than or equal to 0 we have considered this is what the matrix form we have considered in which uh, now you observe here what is a feasible solution our topic is feasible solution all feasible solutions what is feasible solution solution or a feasible solution or a basic feasible solution whatever it is it may, it it should be x that is this so the feasible solution if you consider two particular feasible solutions two particular feasible solutions let it be x1 and x2 let it be x1 and x2 i am considering in n dimensional space that is the reason why i am considering in this fashion x1 x2 are two particular feasible solutions and if you consider if you prove the convex linear combination of x1 x2 that is the line segment joining the points x1 these two particular points x1 and x2 is also contained in the same set s then that is called the convex set then all the feasible solutions are in the convex set then all the feasible solution constitute the convex set clear so to prove the theorem what you have to consider you have to consider two particular feasible solutions now i'm considering x1 x2 two feasible solutions in the convex set which are in the convex set let it be the when do you prove that uh, all the feasible solutions constitute a convex set which are in the convex set if if you draw a line segment which means if you consider a convex linear combination of x1 and x2 which are in the same set s 
the entire line segment uh, that is a convex linear combination the entire line segment uh, which is uh, in the convex set if you prove it then it is uh, then the, all the feasible solutions constitute a convex set so for which uh, what i am considering x1 x2 two feasible solutions what is meant by feasibility feasibility meant by the these two particular solutions satisfies constraints and non negative restrictions so therefore i am using the i am uh, considering these are the feasible solutions therefore feasible solutions therefore i am writing here it is satisfying constraints and these two are satisfying non non negative restrictions which means uh, these two are feasible solution therefore constraints ax1 is equal to b and uh, uh, x1 is greater than or equal to 0 and ax2 is equal to b and x2 is greater than or equal to 0 so this is constraint this is satisfying constraints this is satisfying non negative restrictions for both here as well so therefore two feasible so feasible solutions i have considered x1 x2 by the definition they are satisfying constraints and non negative restrictions feasibility means this right let it be you can consider this is one such equation we can formulate now i am considering x that is what so our x we are considering this is a vector you please remember x1 x2 are vectors here x is vector a is vector b is vector if you consider x is a convex linear combination of x1 x2 how do you consider x is a convex linear combination of x1 x2 that is uh, what i am considering that uh, x is equal to a convex i am expressing as a line segment joining the points of x1 and x2 these two points uh, x1 x2 if we consider convex linear combination that means lambda into x1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 x i am expressing as lambda into x1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 that is a convex linear combination of x1 x2 that is uh, i am drawing a line segment uh, joining these two points x1 and x2 as x x is a one but x uh, is a is on the point that is uh, uh, by considering the convex linear combination the line segment uh, It is one of the point of the line segment joining the points x1 and x2. That is called convex linear combination. We have considered. Now I am calculating. Now I am proving this x is also satisfying both the. When do you say this? Now this x is specifying. We can specify that this x is a feasibility, feasible solution. these two are we have considered feasible solutions if this is also a feasible solution then and this particular uh, it is a, a convex linear combination it is also expressed as a convex linear combination therefore if it is if you proved if we proved that x is also feasible solution then the all x x1 x2 are in the convex set right so therefore now what i am proving that it is satisfying the constraints a so for which i am considering ax is equal to a into what is x lambda into x1 remember they are all matrix except lambda lambda is a one value which is 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 it is a scalar plus 1 minus lambda into x2 so therefore i am taking scalar outside and i am multiplying the matrices so lambda into a into x1 plus 1 minus lambda is a scalar i'm taking outside multiplied by a into x2 these are matrices a is matrix x1 is matrix a is matrix x2 is matrix lambda is scalar 1 minus lambda is also scalar right lambda into what is ax1 it is b plus 1 minus lambda into what is ax2 it is b b is a matrix remember it is a matrix lambda into b lambda into ax1 is equal to b and 1 minus lambda into 
ax2 is equal to b lambda is a scalar 1 minus lambda scalar b is a matrix remember it is a matrix b so is equivalent to b lambda plus 1 minus lambda b if you take a common b lambda plus 1 minus lambda b is a matrix so minus lambda plus lambda will cancel hence 1 into b is b so what is that ax is equal to b and ax is equal to b so which satisfies constraints therefore it satisfies constraints we are not considered we have proved it right ax is equal to b and since uh, now you come over here uh, to prove x is greater than equal to 0 lambda is greater than 0 1 minus lambda is greater than 0 x1 greater than 0 x2 greater than equal to 0 so therefore this entire thing x x is also greater than equal to 0 x is greater than equal to 0 since uh, since uh, lambda greater than 0 x1 greater than equal to 0 x2 also greater than equal to 0 lambda is greater than 0 x1 greater than equal to 0 x2 greater than equal to 0 right so therefore x is also greater than equal to 0 so now we have proved that is it visible now we have proved that ax is equal to b and x is greater than equal to 0 so therefore it satisfies x satisfies uh, both uh, constraints and non negative restrictions therefore x is a feasible solution x is a feasible solution x is a feasible solution we have proved that x is a feasible solution and we have considered it is a convex linear combination of x1 x2 we have considered it is a convex linear combination of x1 and x2 so therefore uh, x is a convex linear combination of x1 x2 and is also a feasible solution therefore set of all feasible solutions constitute a convex set constitute a convex set do you understand this what we have considered we have considered two particular points x1 and x2 which are feasible solutions two particular feasible solutions for the linear programming problem and then and then we have considered and uh, one particular point that is x one particular value x which is a convex linear combination of x1 and x2 and which we have proved that it is also a feasible solution that is it uh, satisfies the constraint line in this fashion ax is equal to b therefore it is uh, a feasible solution and then x is also we have proved that x is greater than equal to 0 since lambda is greater than 0 x1 greater than equal to 0 x2 greater than equal to 0 therefore in which uh, lambda into 1 minus lambda into x1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 so it is nothing but x therefore x is greater than equal to 0 so therefore x satisfies constraints and non negative restrictions therefore uh, x is a feasible solution and also it is a convex linear combination that is x is a convex linear combination of x1 and x2 and uh, which means uh, it, it it is in the set uh, it is in the convex set yes the we have if you have considered three particular points x1 x2 and x that is uh, if you drawn a particular line segment joining the points x1 and x2 x lies in between li lies on the convex combination co convex combination that is line segment so therefore x1 x2 uh, and x all are in the convex set yes now it is a feasible solution x is a feasible solution therefore set of all feasible solutions set of all feasible solutions constitute a convex set hope you understand this is what the explanation for this particular theorem to prove this particular theorem you have to prove this we have to consider a convex linear combination of two particular feasible solutions and of course the convex for any convex set for any convex set x1 x2 the feasible solution we have considered and for any particular convex set if you draw a line segment that is the convex linear combination then the point the point whatever the point you have considered on the convex combination expressed as a particular point is in the convex combination then which particular point is also in the convex set yes 
if it is feasible because we have considered x1 x2 are two feasible solutions the convex combination also feasible solution if the convex combination is also a feasible solution then our theorem was proved our theorem will be proved so then we have proved, uh, in a similar fashion we have proved that it is also in the convex combination and it is also a feasible solution therefore whatever the line segment we have considered x as x1 x2 as a convex linear combination of joining two particular points x1 and x2 it is also in the same set yes that for example the convex set yes and it is also a feasible solution it satisfies both so therefore set of all feasible solutions constitute convex set thank you